We want to write an equation for the we want to write an equation for the rational function based upon the given graph. To do this, we'll use the factored form of a rational function given here below, where a is a constant, and then we'll have factors in the numerator and in the denominator. Before we do this, we want to identify all of the key components of the given graph. For example, notice how we have a hole here at x equals negative three. This graph does not appear to have an x-intercept, but it does have a y-intercept here of negative two. This is the point zero, negative two. And we do have a vertical asymptote here at x equals one. This is enough information to determine our rational function. But we do have to remember that knowing there's a hole at x equals negative three gives us information about a factor in the numerator and in the denominator and knowing we have a vertical asymptote of x equals one gives us information about a factor in the denominator. And then we can use the y-intercept or this point here to determine the value of our constant a. So let's begin to set this up. We'll have f of x equals a, we'll find a in the next step, times a rational function. And let's begin with the information about our whole. If there's a hole at x equals negative three, that means negative three is a zero of both the numerator and denominator, meaning negative three makes the numerator and denominator equal to zero, which means they both must contain a factor of x plus three. Notice x equals negative three makes both the numerator and denominator equal to zero, and we should also recognize that common factors here make holes in the graph. And because we have a vertical asymptote of x equals one, one must be a zero of the denominator or the value of x equals one must make the denominator equal to zero. Therefore, we must have a factor of x minus one in the denominator. Now we have everything but the value of a, and we can determine the value of a using the y-intercept. If this function contains the point zero, negative two, that means f of zero must equal negative two. So if we substitute zero for x, this function must equal negative two. And if we do this, we can solve for a. f of zero would equal a times, again if x is zero, this would be three. This would be three times negative one or negative three, and this value must be equal to negative two. Three divided by negative three is negative one, so we have negative a equals negative two. Divide both sides by negative one, we have a equals two. Which means our rational function is f of x equals, since we have two times its fraction, we could put the two in the numerator, so we have two times the quantity x plus three divided by the quantity x plus three times the quantity x minus one. Notice how the degree of the numerator is one and the degree of the denominator is two. When the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. So just to check, looking at our graph, it does look like we have a horizontal asymptote here of y equals zero, which would be the x-axis. I hope you found this helpful.